Basic Introduction to Color Sensor The color sensor is also called a color recognition sensor. It is a sensor that compares the object color with the previously taught reference color to detect the color. Eye Introduction The principle of the color sensor is to obtain color data by dividing visible light into different signals through its internal red, R, green, G, and blue, B, sensors plus color filters. Color sensors play an extremely important role in the terminal equipment, such as calibration devices for color monitors, color printers and plotters, paint, textile and cosmetic manufacturing. E.g., the library uses colors to distinguish documents for classification, which can greatly improve shelf management and statistics. To how the color sensor works? Color sensors are divided into three different types, light to photocurrent conversion, light to analog voltage conversion, and light to digital conversion. Therefore, the most practical analog output color sensor will have at least one transimpedance amplifier and provide voltage output. 1. Light to photocurrent sensor The light to photocurrent sensor is composed of a photodiode or a photodiode with a color filter. The core is also a PN junction, but the photodiode is a converter that converts light energy into electrical energy. There is a window on the photodiode housing that allows light to illuminate the photosensitive area, and the photodiode works under reverse voltage. In the P region and N region away from the depletion layer, due to the weak electric field strength, the photogenerated carriers can only perform diffusion motion. 2. Light to Analog Voltage Sensor The light to analog voltage sensor consists of a photodiode array with color filters and integrates a transimpedance amplifier. The light to analog voltage color sensor is composed of a photodiode array behind the color filter and an integrated current to voltage conversion circuit, usually a transimpedance amplifier. The light falling on each photodiode is converted into photocurrent, whose amplitude depends on the brightness and wavelength of incident light, due to color filters. Without a color filter, a typical silicon photodiode would respond to wavelengths from the ultraviolet region to the visible region. In the part of the spectrum close to infrared, the peak response region lies between 800 nanometers and 950 nanometers. The red, green, and blue transmissive color filters will reshape and optimize the spectral response of the photodiode. A properly designed filter will provide a spectral response to the filtered photodiode array that mimics the human eye. The photocurrent of each of the three photodiodes is converted into VRAUT, GAUT, and VAUT using a current-to-voltage converter.